hey guys so today I'm doing an anxiety update video I did my original kind of my experience with anxiety and mentioned it for the first time um, I think over a year ago actually so I will link that video in the description if you're interested in kind of that intro into that it's kind of my experience with anxiety and how I deal with it. This is kind of an update how I'm doing now and I just wanted to kind of get into it a bit more. A lot of people felt really helped by that video. I got a lot of comments that said I suffer too. It was great for you to like talk about this and I thought I'd do another one just because it hasn't gone away and I just wanted to talk to you about how it's going, what makes me anxious. Um, I didn't really touch on that too much in that other video and yeah so let's just get right into it. So first I just want to talk about what makes me anxious. Personally obviously anxiety is a different experience for everyone who experiences it. And some people get like the chills, some people get really nauseous, some people just completely have a panic attack every single time and it's different for everyone. I have suffered with it, um, panic attacks once in a while. I get them maybe two, three times a year. Sometimes I get them a lot in like one week if I'm super, super, super stressed or have something big coming up. Most of the time I get minor anxiety which I almost don't like. Like I, I almost hate it more than panic attacks because when I get a panic attack I feel extremely better right after it happens. Like. It, your body can only withstand so much anxiety until it just can't handle it and then that's it so after I have a panic attack I just relax so much because it's out of my system but like a small amount of anxiety daily is what I normally have and I hate that because it kind of prevents me from taking opportunities and taking risks and chances and doing things I wouldn't normally do you know waking up early makes me anxious with like all these different things and I just wanted to give you guys a few lists like a list of a couple of things that make me anxious and kind of how I try to deal with them first thing is just like a lot of stress in my life at the moment you know school I have um, just have a lot of the responsibilities and when I'm doing too much things at once sometimes it's actually good for me because when I have too much of a break off all I start doing is thinking like what happens when work starts again what happens when school starts again this this and that and it like, just kind of snowballs until I'm panicking because I have too much time on my hands but when I'm really stressed sometimes I forget to to stress if that makes sense you know when you have so many things to do you can't even think about being anxious but sometimes I get like one free second and boom it's gone I'm just totally anxious and I have to cancel things and that's one of my fears I think is that my anxiety makes me cancel things when people need me people are counting on me and depending on me and I can't you know help them out or do what I said I was going to do because I'm so anxious because my anxiety makes me feel sick physically ill I'm not just like nervous I can't eat when I'm really anxious and I'm already underweight and that's not healthy I did a whole skinny shaming video if you want to hear about that I'm already underweight and I need to eat as much as possible so when I'm anxious I get a really nervous stomach and get really nauseous and I have no appetite and that's really not good because then that makes you more anxious because you haven't eaten anything and it kind of just snowballs on that which is really bad and then another thing that makes me anxious is dating and that's probably why I've been single for hmm, a very long time. Um, practically a nun at this point. Just dating makes me really nervous. I prefer to meet someone and be friends with them for a long time because I'm already comfortable with them and then things happen because when I feel like when I meet someone and automatically there's like a fat connection it makes me so nervous. Maybe it's because like something much deeper that I haven't thought about you know like fears of I don't know something. One of my biggest things that makes me anxious and it sounds crazy and like everyone has to do it and everyone doesn't like it but like for me it's not just something that I'm lazy about it's something that gives me like a lot of anxiety gives me panic attacks a lot of the time and that's waking up early and that's insane because I can start waking up at the same time all the time and it's like what's the big deal but when I'm overtired I don't get enough sleep I get so sick feeling I can't eat I just feel so horrible so I feel like I have this fear that when I have to wake up early like especially if it's just one day like if I normally wake up at 8 and all of a sudden I have to wake up at 6 for some reason that's what makes me really nervous because then I it's kind of like a lot of people have that thing where like you know you have to wake up at 7 in the morning so you count like oh, if I fall asleep now I'll get this many hours and you just kind of can't sleep knowing you have to be up at a certain time or something like that and that's my like issue I have but it's worse like I can't sleep but I get really anxious like I won't wake up on time what happens if I wake up and then I feel sick all day like it's really crazy that's like one of my biggest fears for some crazy reason and then like I said earlier being sick um every time I get sick I get really bad anxiety because my anxiety actually started when I had mono um when I'd gotten mono I was calling out sick all the time and just I never felt right and mono also is something where it's not constant you're not feeling I mean it's different for everyone but for me I wasn't sick every single day I felt ill it was like I would feel fine for a week I'd be doing stuff and in the middle of doing something I would feel awful all of a sudden and I have to leave and like, like freak out and 
it just isn't a fun thing to deal with so whenever I get sick even if it's like a minor cold or like a headache I freak out and like I start getting anxious that it's gonna be worse and it's not even like I search on WebMD and think I have like you know this horrible disease it's just kind of basic fear of having to call out sick and like letting someone down as I also mentioned earlier about not eating when I get anxiety I get anxious about having anxiety and I think that's my biggest fear is fear of fear if that makes sense I get really anxious that I have anxiety and then from my anxiety because I lose my appetite I get this fear that like oh my god what if I don't eat and then I feel really sick and then I get sick and then I have to call out and then you know it's like this horrible fear thing two more and they're kind of along the same lines and one of them is traveling I've never been on a plane I don't really go very far I don't think I've been farther than like four hours from my house in years I just I don't know it really freaks me out being too far away from my mom I think I don't know my family that sounds so bad like what the heck but like I don't know if it's being away from home or it's just not being with someone who understands that I have anxiety and I'm pretty reasonable in most aspects but when it comes to anxiety there is no reason anywhere. That's most of the stuff that kind of really gets me anxious and the ways that I deal with it and in the other video I mentioned a lot of stuff so I, like I said I'll link that below if you want to hear more. Lately the things that have been helping me out and just like relaxing me when I'm feeling anxious even if it's a little anxious when it's an anxiety attack and like a panic attack it's nothing really can calm me down they usually don't last more than five minutes and then after that you I don't know I feel so much better it does take up the wind out of you though so you need some rest after that kind of situation but the things that help me when I'm like suffering with minor anxiety or you just like nervousness for certain situations like I just said like, those situations I just explained a couple of things are drinking water sipping water can really just help you to kind of focus on something you know, focus on swallowing, focusing on the taste, like take your mind off of whatever you're worried about. And that goes along with like sucking on a mint or like a hard candy or even nibbling on like pretzels. Anything like that is gonna help you kind of relax. I don't know if it's something scientific. My mom told me that people who are nauseous and people who are nervous are supposed to suck on like a hard candy and it's supposed to help them. I don't know if it's the sugar that helps them or what it is, but it definitely helps me. The other thing is just breathing, which is something that everyone tells you when you're anxious or nervous is just to focus on your breaths. That can go wrong sometimes and it doesn't work for me every time. In public situations I try to like breathe and just relax and like calm myself down so that no one knows I'm having a panic attack or I'm having anxiety. But other things that you can do if you're just suffering from stress or very minor anxiety, like you have a test coming up or you also are nervous about waking up earlier if something big coming up and you're just like keep thinking about it, just watch a sitcom to be honest. And I know this sounds so ridiculous but like me being someone who's obsessed with TV in a really unhealthy way, I watch a lot of those dramatic shows like Vampire Diaries and stuff that can like, give you like heart palpitations. But then I watch something like Parks and Recreation or New Girl or something and it's just a nice thing to kind of escape because you're not focusing on something really intense you're not thinking about yourself you it'll take your mind off enough that you're focusing on the show but not so much that you're getting anxious about something that's going on in the show because it's such like a light-hearted thing and you can really just relax and you're not super worried about what's happening but you're like paying attention like it gets you involved but not too involved if you get what I'm saying. Something else I do is cook and that's obviously completely like a personal thing if you don't cook then you don't cook but I love to bake and I love to cook and those kinds of things like it gives you a task to focus on whether it's like listen to music or clean or I don't know, sometimes driving can be relaxing for some people if you don't live in New Jersey. <laughs> Obviously watching YouTube could be one of those things, you know? Yeah. Because watching YouTube isn't stressful. I feel like watching YouTube is like people's vlogs and like videos. They're funny. Sometimes they're not funny, but they're not like so intense like a TV show that you're just like, oh my god, I'm on the edge of my seat. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is this app. I've talked about it a lot of times before. It's called Relax Melodies. It's free on the iPhone. It has a billion different options of noises. There's like a fan, a cat purring, a vacuum, I think, the ocean, a flute. There's a million different ones. I chose the ones I like and every night before I fall asleep because that's when I get a lot of my anxiety about like the next day. So I listen to this app and it just kind of helps me like focus on that. Like I'll focus on the sounds of the music and I like the other sounds I chose instead of whatever I'm thinking about. You can set it to go off, like turn off in a half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever. I usually set mine for 30 to 40 minutes and I definitely fall asleep before it goes off all the time. I highly recommend it. You can also just listen to that in the middle of the day, like with your earbuds on a train or in a cab or wherever you are in your car to just kind of relax just because you know that song is something that you always kind of can relate to relaxing or falling asleep or something like that if you need to take a nap. I don't know. Anything like that. I really like that app. It's awesome. The last thing is might be 
a cliche or whatever, but letting out a good cry can just like change your entire outlook on the day. If you're, I cry a lot at everything. If you guys didn't know, I mean, I cry at like TV commercials, I cry at comedies, I cry at like seeing a baby in a grocery store. I cried everything. But if you don't cry that often or if you're really stressed, sometimes you just need to let out a good cry. Sometimes I have really bad anxiety from hormones and like that time of the month, you know what I mean? You have to cry or you just feel stressed, even though you're not stressed just because it's like that time of the month, you know what I'm saying? If you're a guy, you don't know what I'm saying, but I'm sure guys have hormones that make them do things like that get upset. I don't know. Just letting out a good cry can just kind of get all those bad emotions and stuff out for you to kind of feel refreshed. It's kind of like doing a detox. You're getting all the bad stuff out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've never done a detox, but it's kind of like an emotional detox. But so those are my ways of dealing with anxiety. Um, my update part of this video, which I really haven't talked about much, is I've been doing pretty well lately. I think maybe because I've just been more relaxed. I know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of things like the anxiety have school in them, you know, you have to do it at school and I'm sure a lot of you can relate and that makes me feel really good is that it's almost over so I can relax and just find something I like to do and not school wise. I think that if you have positive thinking and I know positive thinking can just be like people like oh that's not true that's not true but I've seen so many negative people in my life who just like always bring you down and that caused me a lot of anxiety before. Um, you just kind of let things get to you and I always used to let everything get to me and now I just kind of try to brush everything off you know when someone annoys me when someone's in a bad mood and it kind of puts you in a bad mood you just kind of have to ignore it you have to laugh it off um, I've been trying to be a lot more happy and just like even when I'm not in a great mood get up and do things because the more active you are the better you feel I know like people say exercise I say don't exercise because I don't need to exercise I don't care about it but if you like to exercise good for you if not then just go do something you know go to the grocery store just go take a drive go take a walk um, just get up to your laundry you know dust a shelf you know something just to just to do something because you'll feel so much better when you're more accomplished. I'm really trying to do that. When I'm in a bad mood, I try to like force myself to be in a good mood. I try to do things I enjoy. So just try to like fill your life with people who positively influence it. And if you have people in your life that are negative, um, I know you can't cut everyone out, especially if they're in your family. If you have friends or people at school that kind of really bother you, just try to ignore them and just get away from them as much as possible if you can. And if you can't, then just don't let it get to you because you know they have more of their own problems they're not trying to pick on you and you know make your life worse that's not their intention probably and if it is then it's because they have their own issues to deal with make the best of a bad situation you know be as polite as possible like kill them with kindness is what i say i think that's all i have to say for this video if you want some specific advice i do have an email address for stuff like this in the description box if you want to just leave a comment i can answer answer that or tweet me or facebook message me or whatever if you did like this video and it helped you out or you enjoyed it in any way or any Thing like that please give this video a thumbs up so that i know you like these videos and i'll do them a bit more often if you guys want a q a video whether it's about like my normal beauty fashion kind of thing or about me or about anxiety or anything just leave that in the comments or tweet it at me or let me know if you want me to do a q a and i'll you know ask you guys for questions subscribe if you want more updates about this or you like any of my other videos you just want to check them out or whatever make sure to check out all that social media i mentioned earlier and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye. What makes me anxi anxiety? What makes me anxiety? Yeah. Um and, and um um um. What was I saying?